Impact, luxury brand marketing. Today, we are here with Dr. Sheeta Chant. Hello, Dr. Sheeta Chant. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for your time once again today. Let's start briefly, uh, mention about yourself and your business. Uh, so first of all, um, I'm really glad to be here today again on your platform. And uh, I run a luxury uh, market intelligence firm by the name of Lux Analytics. And for all my viewers, uh, uh, you can just, uh, if you want, you can just quickly run through our website. It's luxanalytics.in. So we do everything around luxury. Uh, we help our clients with uh, advisory, research, consulting, and how are we different from others is, uh, it is all based upon, backed upon, uh, consumer behavior, uh, how consumers behave based upon that. We help our clients to make better decisions, uh, which is all guided by research and analysis and which helps our clients to uh, decide and better gauge uh, their problems because it is in a very objective and scientific way, the kind of solutions we provide to our clients. And uh, Besides research, we also focus on training programs. So we help clients in varied uh, domains in luxury from varied industries, for example, hospitality sector or automobile sector, watch sector, uh, real estate. So the range or the, you know, the gamut is, uh, the, the, this, there is so much of work around luxury industry itself. You know, you have wide, spectrum uh, within which you can work and uh, we are uh, uh, we, we are fortunate to to help clients from across the areas uh, with uh, with uh, training them training the senior leaders and uh, training the uh, client facing uh, you know managers uh, to how uh, they can do their best when uh, they they uh, they meet the clients or they you know, address uh, the customers actually. And this particular thing is very, very important in luxury industry because uh, here, I think understanding the customer's needs and giving them the best uh, is very, very important and nothing less than perfection actually uh, works in luxury industry. And that's why training is, I, I believe, very, very important in this particular industry. Thank so, you so much for your the background of what you do and also the company as well. I have jumped onto the website earlier and it's looked very good and have seen that there you have a lot of, you know, many clients as well. Now let's talk about impact. How do you first uh, define the word impact? So essentially impact is uh, how can you create value, uh, you know, uh, to whatever domain or whatever industry you are working uh, and uh, I think uh, it makes sense uh, in today's scenario to be really a, being an impactful business. Okay. I think that's very good in terms of you uh, define impact with the meaning of value of it. So you create some more uh, additional values. So if you talk about value and impact with your clients, how do you and your team create impact for your client? Um, so... It's very important to, first of all, understand the real problems of the client uh, and then try to, you know, with, with the best, um, try to provide them the best solution by uh, doing detailed uh, work uh, in terms of uh, what they need and how they, uh, you know, how they would, uh, uh, what, what problems and how we can solve their problems essentially. So understanding the problems of the client is number one most important. And then accordingly, based upon that, that we, we do content, we, we create the right set of content. For example, for our training programs, we have complete set of modules designed and customized based upon our client's requirements. So it is tailor-made as per your own needs so that we can create some impact in their organization. We can help them increase their sales, revenues, profits. That's how you know we, we want to add value when we are there, when we are collaborating or partnering with them. So that's mm -hmm. our end objective that how we can create the best value for our clients. Yes, 
I understand that you should not mention any names in specific uh, in particular, but can I ask you an example of how do you create impact? Uh, like so projects, yes. Yeah, for instance, uh, like, uh, you know, if, if we have to do for a, uh, for a French luxury brand, a complete India entry strategy, uh, so of course uh, it's it's a it's a great assignment which we have recently completed for a top tier French luxury brand. So you know it it was most important part was uh, doing a thorough research, uh, being very crisp and precise and telling them in you know uh, yet comprehensively that what India is like because Indian market is very very different from the Western counterparts. We cannot imagine that we can have a copy cut. Uh, a strategy what's working in the western world would work in India so I being a specialist for Indian luxury market understanding the Indian luxury consumer behavior so that's where most of my clients look at uh, for my expertise and and we create an entire set of uh, you know uh, those gaps and uh, actionable points for them uh, by our uh, thorough research and understanding about the Indian market that then they can uh, really, based upon those particular insights which we have provided to them, they can make actionable strategies and which helps them to enter Indian uh, market. So we have done this for uh, various uh, luxury brands that how they can make their uh, you know expansion or entry in the Indian luxury market, uh, understanding the nuances of diverse Indian culture. Hmm. Thank you very much for the example that I can see the clear picture. Now, if we move on, uh, another thing that you're doing very well is you are, I could say that you are one of the influencer in luxury marketing, especially on social media. I see you have a lot of posts and some of your posts got thousands of people uh, reaction to it. So how do you start uh, this specific journey of being an influencer? Uh I think it was not planned at all. And I, I think uh, just, uh, just putting your thoughts, whatever is relevant, topical, uh, up, uh, you know, uh, trending, uh, which can add value to people. Uh, that, that is basically is in my mind that it's not about, I never think about how many likes or comments I will get because I don't think that really matters. What matters is, that how I can uh, disseminate the knowledge, how I can uh, co-create the knowledge or share the knowledge with uh, with uh, you know uh, my uh, followers or uh, those who have keen interest in the luxury industry. So that's only the purpose. It's it's uh, it doesn't matter whether you know how many shares, likes, comments. I do not uh, I do not run into that race and never ever ever have thought of it or posted with that intent. I have only one intent that how we can create some knowledge uh, which can be helpful and which can create an impact in this particular industry. That's yes, only and, idea. thank yeah. you. And that is actually answer my next curious question of how do you create impact through your post, basically creating knowledge to your uh, people that can see and all that. So that's how you create your impact through your post. Is there any other specific tips you'd like to give uh, in terms of how we should post on social media? Uh, like, yeah, in terms of how it's going to create impact for other people. I think being authentic, uh, original, uh, sharing uh, relatable thoughts, uh, you know, um, which, which, which genuinely you think uh, can, uh, can make a difference in the industry. Uh, that is very important. I think uh, most important thing I believe is sharing your own thoughts and being uh, being original and uh, whatever is current and uh, how it can help a uh, huge uh, you know uh, set of people if if we can just try that uh, that uh, we can we can provide some kind of a knowledge with all, whatever we are reading or researching since i do a lot of research so you know uh, we keep finding newer things newer facts and more we can share our knowledge with with the world i think it it is uh, good uh, but yeah, one more thing which which I think I have learned through my journey is uh, particularly I, I I am on LinkedIn. So uh, it is essentially being consistent is also very very important. You have to be there. You cannot uh, you cannot think that just being 
two months uh, or just being in six months, you can do miracle. But if you are there consistently and posting consistently some relevant um, stuff for your audience, for your target audience, then I think you can, um, within within some one year or six months time, you can see that yes, uh, you, you have added some value, you are helping the people around and I think then it can create some more impact. Mm. Thank you very much for your practical uh, suggestion on the linking polls and some other social media that can be applied as well. Now, uh, I know that you are in a number of industry, you work in fashion, luxury, real estate, and also in academic. Do you have any suggestion on how we're going to build uh, impactful connection and collaboration within uh, people from a different network? Um, this is uh, indeed a very important question, I think. Uh, uh, I believe, uh, you know, attending more and more uh, industry events, conferences, uh, they are very, very important uh, because then you get to meet so many people, you get to learn so many things. And uh, I think in today's scenario, uh, network is net worth. That's what we say. And thanks to the platforms like LinkedIn, which actually connect beyond boundaries. So, so uh, I think it, it has really made it easy. So I would uh, rather suggest all the uh, young uh, audience, uh, if they are listening to me, that you know they should uh, try to leverage such platforms. Uh, they should make meaningful connections. And I think that will uh, help them go a long way in terms of even gaining knowledge, knowing about a particular topic in which they want to do expertise in. So if they follow some of those experts, I think uh, they can in long run uh, it can be very, very beneficial for them. And also attending uh, the whatever uh, in offline industry events, conferences, that also gives you a lot of exposure towards your industry, your interest area, and all those things and help you make a lot of very, very important connections. Great suggestion there. Now, one last question, uh, which is, if you can go back in time, what will be the one thing or one suggestion you want to tell your younger self? Uh, I think uh, I would uh, always uh, say that uh, believe in yourself uh, and I, I truly think that our mind is very powerful. I always keep reiterating myself that everything is in mind. Whatever we think, we become. So uh, just have that strong determination. I believe in manifestation. So if, if you really think of something with that dedication and passion, I think it is a bound that you will get that. Mm. So that's that's how I, I think and yeah. Yes, I think the last part that you talk about um, the motivations and also, you know, you will become the person that you think and work hard towards too is, is very interesting. And, you know, and, and this could become true as well for a lot of us who are working hard. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time today. And this is uh, Impact Luxury Brand Marketing with Dr. Shita James. Thank you very much, Dr. Shita, for your time. Thank you so much. It was really lovely to be there in your platform. Thank you. Thank you.